I will be reading the poem A City of Ships by Walt Whitman. This poem was a part of a greater collection called Leaves of Grass by Mr. Whitman. And it was banned in what I believe was 1895 because it was many of the pieces within the collection were considered too obscene or shocking and it also had homoerotic overtones. And as we all know, America was not so forgiving of homosexuality in our later days. But I'm proud to say that these days we are very accepting of our homosexual citizens. A City of Ships. City of Ships. Oh, the black ships, oh, the fierce ships, oh, the beautiful, sharp-bowed steamships and sail ships, city of the world, for all races are here. All the nations of the world make contributions here. City of the sea, city of hurried and glittering tides, city whose gleeful tides continually rush and recede, whirling in and out with eddies and foam. City of wharves and stores, city of tall facades of marble and iron. Proud and passionate city, meddlesome, mad, extravagant city. Spring up, O city, not in peace alone, but be indeed yourself warlike. Fear not. Submit to no models save your own, O city. Behold me, incarnate me, as I have incarnated you. I have rejected nothing you offered me. Whom you adopted, I have adopted. Good or bad, I do not question you. I love all, I condemn nothing. I chant and celebrate all that is yours. Yet peace no more. In peace I chanted peace. But now the drum of war is mine. War, red war, is the song that I sing through your streets, O city. Thank you.